Hi everybody, welcome. It's Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, so it's time for Stamping with Denise. Welcome, how are you all doing tonight? I'm playing a little bit with lighting again, so um, bear with me as I try to make some changes and adjustments. So, hope everybody had a great weekend. We had a nice one here. Getting ready for Thanksgiving here in the U.S. in a couple of days. See, today's Monday, so it's on Thursday. So, let me pull this up on my computer and share this. Um, let's see, what do I want to do? Like Denise. Oops. Welcome. How are you all doing? Let me turn off my sound. Share this, okay. So, um, I just realized I don't have last week's project around. Last week we made a um, cover for a wine bottle. And um, this week I have a fun fold card for you. I'm gonna use, it's gonna be kind of a Christmas themed card. And uh, so, if you like what you see tonight, share it with your friends. Um, and uh, comment down below that you shared. And you might get a chance to win tonight's card. But the winner of the project from last week is Stephanie McKinstry. Because she did share and she her name was drawn from all of those who shared. So Stephanie, um, you're local. I'm going to give you the bottle cover. If it was somebody that I had to mail it to, I couldn't mail that, so I would have had to have just sent a card. So I will get that to you the next time I see you. I'm going to pull my... Um, keeps telling me that Facebook is having trouble playing my vid the video, and I don't understand what's going on. So, okay. Anyway, let me... I'm going to try to open this up a little bit here. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, well, you know what we're going to do? We are going to get started here. I'm going to have a really fun card. It's a fun fold, and I hope you're going to like it. So I am going to get ready here and turn the camera around, and we'll go get started. Hang tight. Close your eyes so you don't get motion sickness. Let's see. I'm trying to get my cord out of the way too. There we go. Yeah, I use my phone all day at work and then I use it to record. So I've got it by the end of the day. I need to make sure I have it plugged in. So the card I'm going to make tonight, I'm going to use the Flowers for Every Season designer series paper. And when they say Flowers for Every Season, they mean it. Um, this really is great paper. We've got sunflowers for the summer. Um, we have some great daisies, which are spring, early summer. Some more sunflowers. Actually, that's my favorite one with the blue background. Um, those gorgeous roses. There's some other, hmm, looks, I don't know, I guess those are roses. So it has some really pretty papers. Oh, I, you know what? I had not really seen that one. I like that one a lot. I'm going to use that. Um, there's some nice kind of wintry paper. I like that, and I think that could be winter too, that blue and white. And then, of course, there's some poinsettias. And these two, you know, these could almost be kind of a icy, wintry um, theme too. So let me put these back. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. And this is going to unstick Facebook again. Doggone it. Okay, so a demonstrator friend of mine showed this fun fold card. And she showed it as a way to showcase both sides of the designer series paper. Okay, and I thought this was just really clever. But I wanted to 
you know, designer series paper's fine, but it's not as heavy as cardstock. So, and this is a little long for our envelopes. Let me show you here. See, it doesn't quite fit in our envelopes. So I decided I wanted to redesign the card. I was going to do it with cardstock, and I was going to um, make it smaller so that it would fit in our envelope. So that's what I'm going to show you tonight. Let me, um, there we go. I'm not a great bow tire, but sometimes I can do it when I need to. So this is the one I put together using that designer series paper. I, the base is Poppy Parade cardstock. Um, I've used that um, poinsettia looking paper. This is the Just Jade in color ribbon. Opened it up and there you go. Still gives you place to write a note and I love the two windows. The other thing you could almost do is have a different paper. I mean, now this one doesn't match, but you know, this is the paper I'm going to use tonight. You know, have this on the second layer could be a different coordinating pattern. You'd have to see how it looks, but I, I like that. So I thought I'd show you how to do it. It's really a lot easier than it looks, and everyone will think you were just amazing. So let me tie this back up. Let's see, take bets on whether I can get this kind of okay. Eh, it's okay, it's kind of upside down, but whatever, it works. So I'm gonna set this off to the side right here. And let me get my, whoops, trimmer, Stampin' Trimmer. Where did my paper go? Where did my piece of cardstock go? Oh, oh here it is, ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so I'm starting out with a piece of cardstock. It's five and a half inches by ten and a half, okay? And I'm gonna score it at three and a half and seven. My board is crooked in the picture. Let me straighten that out. I don't like that. It was straight before I must have moved my camera a little bit. The camera stand. Okay, so we're gonna score this at three. What did I say? Three and a half and seven. So here's three and a half. Let me get the blade out of the way and get the score. So glad to see some folks are joining us and please, I would love it if you share, give me hearts and thumbs up and things like that. I like those. So this is at seven and we're going to fold this in to get my bone folder here. And my bone folder here. Okay. And so now the, the part that's going to be on the inside, you want to cut off about a half a, or a quarter of an inch from this side. And you could do it when you were cutting the paper. Instead of making it ten and a half, you could make it ten and a quarter. But you would just have to remember that that piece would have to go toward the inside. So, um purposes of today, I just decided to do it in two separate steps. So, okay, whoops, nope. So it goes in there like that. So there we go. Let me get this out of the way. And we are all done with that. Okay, let me give this a nice, good crease. I really like this card because it's different. It's a different... And so on this, I'm going to put... Our, my designer series paper. I've already cut it. I have two pieces. The front is three and three eighths by five and three eighths. And the inside piece is three and one eighth by five and three eighths. And then on the inside, it is three and three eighths by five and three eighths. So the inside one is just a little bit smaller and that's because we cut that uh, quarter um, inch off. So I'm gonna use my stamp and seal. Um, there we go. I wanna do the check mark thing like we used to do with our um, 
one of our other adhesive products, but you really don't have to do that. Okay, I'll put this right on here. I think this is pretty too. This is another nice wintry one that I think would be good for some, especially if they don't celebrate Christmas per se, but you wanted to send them a card for the season. And I think I know who I'm going to send my one to. The, the other one. I have someone who fits that bill perfectly. So. And see, um, some people have had trouble with this. And so what you're doing is you just need to kind of break it. So if you kind of flip it like that. Whoopsie. And then. It, it's a little different than our snail adhesive wedge. It just takes a little bit of use to. I guess there's not a, a top and a bottom. Okay. I'll put it just like this. Let's see. Got that there. Okay. Very good. Now I'm not going to put the inside in until I've cut my windows. So um, let me do that. I'm going to get, bring my um, stamp and emboss machine over. Let me get it going here. I'm using two. I store it like this. It helps keep the plates flat so they, you know, don't um, curl up quite so much. It work. It's been working. So I'm using two of the of the square dies from the layered squares set. Um, so we're going to start with the one on the front. Okay, so I'm going to put it, whoops, let me get my top plate off. I try to do this ahead of time, but I want to, I like to do my cutting ahead of time generally, but I wanted to show you how to do this. So what you're going to do, let me pull that out a little is place this where you want. I mean, if you wanted it dead center, you could. But I think a little bit toward the top works because then it gives you a place to sign the card at the bottom on the inside. Okay. We'll put a little bit of washi tape to keep that in place. Okay. Um, don't push too hard on that washi tape. It will tear your paper. Ask me how I know. And um, actually, people, a lot of people like to use... Um, the sticky from post-it notes and I actually think they, that post-it makes tape you know what I might have to see about that next time I go to the office supply store okay I'm just gonna go back since I'm I would normally I wouldn't go backwards but since I'm on camera I just I'll do that okay get that out of the way I'm going to try to very gently peel this off. Whoops, okay, that's stuck. I don't care so much about the piece that I'm in the center. Now, you could use the layering or the stitched shapes too, but you know what? You're not going to get any pattern because the stitching is on the inside of the square. There we go. You know, this, if I was using the stitched, it would be on the inside here. So it doesn't make any difference. I'll set that out and get that out later. Okay, so that's there. Now we're going to put this like this. Oh, let me get a... You know what? I'm going to use some sticky from a post note. Won't stick quite as... Um, much. I won't have to worry so much about ripping, so... I'm going to lay this down like this. Now, this will be a little bit thicker. No, it won't because I'm going to just lay it on here and then I'll open it up. Okay, so let's see. You want to kind of center this inside your opening. Hold on to that. And kind of use, see I've got the sticky part of the note. I'm going to put it right here to hold it. And you have less of a chance of ripping your paper that way. So I'm using that. I think I am going to have to invest in some post-it note tape for this. I think that'd be a good use. 
So I'm always afraid with washi tape I'm going to tear it because, like I said, I have. So we're going to run this through. Okay, let's see what we got here now. tight going through because there's two layers of paper there. So there we go. There's that. Let me put this over to the side. See, I just store it like that and it helps it stay flat. Okay. Let's get back in the picture here. Okay. And so there we go. There we got our window. I'm going to give those another really good fold here, or creep, yes. so it lays flat. Okay, so now I have my Whisper White, and this panel's going to go in here, but you know what I'm going to do, just much like I did the other one, I think I'm going to, I'm going to use some sticky, some part of this post-it note, the sticky, to hold this in place, because you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait, and I'm gonna, not going to hear it till after I stamp it. Because how many times do you, you know, whenever you can, you want to stamp first, you know? Okay. And that'll just hold it in place, and then I'll glue it down. Because if I made a mistake, then I'd have to put another piece in and whatever. So, I'm going to use the Just Jade ink. Let me get my, my mat to put this on. And you know what? I'm going to stamp right through that hole so that I, you know, I already know my, it fits. Now, if it was just a little bit bigger than the window, I'd have to open it up and make sure I was in the right spot. But you know what? My paper just moved. This did not work. I know what I'll do. I'll put it like right here. There we go. I'll leave that side open. That'll help. There we go, beautiful. Because when I did my other one, I didn't stamp first. Or I did, I, yeah, I glued it in, then I stamped. So, of course, I'm always worried. I'm going to do it. I always do a test stamp just to make sure I got good coverage on my, yeah, I do, on my stamp. This stamp that I'm using is from the tag buffet stamp set. I will show you that here in just a minute. Let me put that right there. That's why I chose this sentiment because it fit right there in that window. Nice and easy. So perfect fit. So hope you all like this so far. If you like it, please share, comment below, and I might be sending you this card next week. Okay, here's the stamp set. This is actually goes with the tag kit that's in the catalog, but it has so many great um, images and sentiments. I mean, I love the Merry Christmas, Tis the Season. Um, even if you don't get the tag buffet, which you should, the, the tags are gorgeous. You get 30 tags to make, and they're about this big. They're huge. It's still a nice one. So, anyway, there we go. I'm going to adhere this panel on the inside now that I know that I've stamped it correctly. Because I bet none of you have put something down with adhesive and then stamped it wrong and had to fix it, huh? Okay. Okay, let me put this in here. We're doing pretty good here on time. Here we go. And ta-da. So I got two options. I could use, these are the in color enamel dots. All the blue ones are gone. I've got the magenta, or I've got the um, Just Jade or the Cinnamon Cider. Or I thought I could maybe even use 
some of these gold glitter enamel dots, which I just love. I'm kind of thinking, you know, something, everything's got to have just a little bit of bling to it somewhere. Oh, I know what I almost forgot. Speaking of bling, I don't know if you can see it on this card, but I went over the word season with my Wink of Stella, so it gives it just a little bit of glitter. So we're going to do that. Now, when you do that, you've got to be careful because it will smear, it can smear the ink. So you want to use a very light touch. And again, I'm doing this on here because this is a this font is a much thicker font than you know the rest of the sentiment there. So, so you do want to be careful, take your time. I love Winkastella. go. So now it's got a little bit of, of glitter in it too, a little bit of bling. But I'm going to use some of these gold glitter enamel dots. They are great. Hey, did you guys hear that Stampin' Up! was having a big sale tomorrow? That's right. It 10% off quite a few of the things that are in the annual catalog. There's a small list of Things that are not on sale. It doesn't include anything in the holiday cat catalog, you know, the mini one that's going on right now. But, um, but almost everything in the annual catalog. And there's some great stuff. And you know, if you have a, if you're buying a bundle, you get a 10% discount. Buy that bundle, it's going to be like getting 20% off of that. Who doesn't love a good sale? get some of your Christmas shopping done. Oh, and speaking of Christmas, I have, I can do gift certificates too. So if there's something you want, um, you know, you can have your significant other get a gift certificate or you can give me your wish list. And if they want to call me, I can get it ordered. So I'm going to use this ribbon, this uh, checked gingham ribbon. It is from the Flowers for Every Season um, ribbon pack, which um, is funny, is, is the designer series paper. So I've about 18 inches, 16, 17, about eight, give or take. It's a little bit long, but it gives me about enough. About enough, is that right? I haven't used it too much, so I thought I would. Let's see, where's the center? And so what I like to do is write in the back, put a, some glue dots just to kind of anchor it on so it doesn't fall off completely. Where are my glue dots? Here we go. So I just kind of find the center of it and put, I'll probably put like three glue dots. Here's one for the center and then one for either side. So. So there you go. Yeah, um, don't, you know, let me know if you need any help placing an order tomorrow. Um, I did send out, if you're on my email list, I sent out the hose code. See, there's my glue dots. I'm going to just put it down, you know, about center here. There we go. And I'm going to tie it up. Um, and I will, um, I can... I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. You, if you want me to help you place your order, I can tomorrow. I won't be home from work till the afternoon, but I'll be glad to help. The t sale is only for tomorrow. But if you're going to place it on your own, please use the host code. You can use it. Actually, this is the host code. And I also, I sent it out in my email last night. It's a different one than that was out in the original email. So, um, there we go. I'm good with that. 
if if you wanted to you could probably even on this put a little had I thought use the sprig punch and do a you know stick a couple of sprigs in there or punch them out of one of the green papers we have and, and tuck them in there and I think those would look really nice too so this is the cards it's kind of a fun fold went trifold um, card with a window in it I hope you like it if you do please share if you shared comment down below and I might be sending you this card next week okay I want to thank you for joining me and I will see you next Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern for Stamping with Denise. Take care guys. Have a great week and don't forget the sale tomorrow. Bye.